Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofina the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to God of War. We're still at, uh, well, back at Brock's workplace because a workshop because uh, I'm starting to feel like we've started a lot of episodes right here. Apparently a new option to talk to him appeared um, when I just loaded up the game. I don't know if that was there before and I just missed it or it was already there the first time around, but let's talk. See you boys ran afoul of some travelers. Or them travelers ran afoul of you more like. Who are they? What do they want? Dunno! Boy, you ask a lot of questions. Boy, you ask a lot of questions indeed. So, he doesn't know who the travelers are either. So, uh, Get going. there we go. The traveler's armor set finally. So, that must have just unlocked between me saving and reloading the game. Because that was... I could swear that option wasn't there before. But, let's have... Because there's apparently more talking options. Oh. I almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He knows why. I know why. You know you why. Quiet. No more of this. Oh. Okay. You know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Comedy duo. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one who forgot what her name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. You just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what, Brock? One bad what? You're one bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? God damn it, we're getting closer to unraveling this uh, brother mystery, but I uh, guess it's not going to be for today. Um, so I think we still have a few things to look around at in uh, the lake, but uh, you know what, let's check out that Traveler's Armor. So it is legendary and it looks kind of cool, but we need more Traveler's Armor shards. Slowly regenerate a protective barrier that absorbs a single attack. Hmm, not bad. So again, couldn't really uh, make any of that because it's uh, we need a few more dead travelers before we can uh, continue on, the, on with that. But so if I recall correctly, we went over... Wait, the bridge is looking a bit funny because I think usually we're looking in... Yeah, we've been over there last time. So we could go back to Vitagard to see if anything changed, but I think we're going to go towards... Um, that's where we need to go, but I think we're gonna go towards the open area that the snake was blocking before over there in the corner. So let's check that out first. Mimir, is there a story for the giant with the flaming sword? Suit the brave. Of course. We've spoken so much of frost giants. It's about time we instead met the most fiery giant of all. Back when Ymir first emerged from Ginungago, it was Suart who followed next. He came from Muspelheim, the Fire Realm, bringing heat to the young cosmos, conjuring the sun from his primordial flame. But let's come back to that flaming sword, shall we? Suart the Brave forged his sword of flame for one purpose alone. To burn down Asgard when Ragnarok comes at last. His destiny is to fall at the hands of Thor and Odin, but in so doing, strike the blow that leaves their realm in ash and ruin. And from that destruction, the world can be born anew. Until then, alone he waits in Muspelheim, never sleeping, ever honing his fiery blade. Ray, generous suit, who knows he lives but to his doom. All because he chooses to serve a grand cycle so much bigger than himself. To truly embrace your purpose and the patience and sacrifice it demands is to ensure your day will come. Okay. You think we'll be there when that day comes? I've seen enough of war between the gods. But you, little brother, who can say? Okay, that was interesting. So, Surtur is destined to die because of Thor and Odin, but in dying will destroy the world, and he's said to be at the very That's end of Muspelheim. I wonder who built it. So, there's something imprisoned over there, but there's also a pathway around here. I'm just gonna check this out. Oh, there we go, another Jew. I'm gonna take that. 
Thank you very much. Another extra two points probably into uh, cooldown again. So cooldown permanently increased by two. Okay, so that wasn't really a separate path. It's just a little side tour. Where wow. can we dock? Uh -huh. an entire city under the water. My lad, a forgotten city. What was it called? Now, uh, well, I forgot. <laughs> okay then. Let's uh, check that out. We still don't know what this does. Um, there's plenty of monsters around, especially that ogre fellow over there. And this, he kind of looks like the one, or maybe it's the same one that was banging behind the, the door there. Just gonna leave him be for now. There's a health stone over here I'm definitely gonna use. Because that looks like a, a strong fellow. I don't think I can actually... Does that do anything? It reacts to it, but doesn't really do anything else. Hello? Oh god! Oh god! Ow! Okay. He just turned around then. Let's just get rid of those. Come on, let's take this guy. We got through bigger guys. There we go. And I think there's another projectile dude over there. There we go. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Jesus. This guy has a lot of health, by the way. And blam! And yeah, there we go. In the face. Ooh, had to batter him down a bit, but... Let's just use Hacking Slimes. So I can just whittle him down completely because there's no other enemies left, so... There we go, in the face, and down he goes. Ooh. Why would I consider a tactical retreat? He's dead. Indeed, but we got out of there pretty okay. So World Serpent Scales, a symbol of courage, hack silver, and... A... What? Two pieces of salt? Fart of Heimsteel. Fair enough, fair enough. So that is that. And if that was not the one we saw through the gate, then, uh, yeah, must have been. There's another one hiding down here. Indeed, so that. I think it's actually our seventh gate. I think we found them all right now. Um, there we go. And that gives us a ramp. This one does not open up, and I probably can't shoot that from here either. Let's head up here. A CRN chest, okay. CR over there. So this must have been, yeah, I think this is the gate he was calling from, so... This is not the way to go, because it's closed off. There's a, a lot of crystals up in the air that I just activated as well to create more light bridges. And a few of the pots that I dropped down. So moving higher up, we find ourselves with a chain to drop down from and another realm there. So that usually means we're up for a fight. Okay, he wasn't loading in properly there. Um, ah, yeah. Didn't think he was going to attack so quickly. So let's try that again. And slam in the parry. And there we go. That's the last of them. 
That was just one Viking, so that was pretty fine. But the checkpoint is a bit of a bitch, because it just put me back all the way at the beginning of the island, just after we killed the troll, so... Not the best checkpoint there. But, opening up another shortcut. And I do not know what that just activated. Oh, I can pick that one up. Yeah. Can I put that back? Cause just gonna have to leave that somewhere in a second, I suppose. And I'm just gonna activate the realm there and see if we can do this. Here we go. Or not, we can just take whatever we want. There we go, Dust of Realms. And a bit of Hacksilver. Uh, I'm just gonna climb up to see what else is here. Okay, okay, okay. We're making progress. We're ma oh, definitely making progress. And just slam him into the ground. Ah, there's an opening over there. Just gonna take care of the other one. There we go, and then just... Did he just... Juggle! Okay, nope. Juggle, no. Never mind, I'm not gonna juggle him apparently. There we go. With the special stance taken out. Ooh, that was a lot of experience actually. So... Now we have the next... Oh, that's the one we could see uh, from the other side. Okay, so let's get the crystal. So there we go. Walked all the way around through all of the shortcuts we've created. And put it in there. Fire away. And that opens up the next bridge. And that should give us a bit of loot, I hope. That's all of this wasn't for nothing. And Blamo. Back in the face. And then just take care of him. There we go. Just want to practice on that stance because it's That's really, it? really handy. There we go. He just puts his axe back like that. Okay, need to need to remember that if I want to do that. Just need to uh, time it a bit better. Is there anything? Yeah, there's something over here. That just gives me the chain for another shortcut. Don't need to go down there. Don't need to go down there. There we go. This has been pretty easy going, even though I died. But ah, there we go. There's a seat. I kind of forgot that I needed to keep an eye out for those, but... but yeah, I do like we get the, the fact that we get more information from uh, Mimir, and I think most of that comes from the storyboards we found. Uh, and that's the reason why Mimir... Wait, 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 wait. There we go. I kind of forgot that I could break guards like that. There we go. Do I need to... Just gonna stop it. Yeah, there we go. I think one of them actually fell down. But we need to jump up to get uh, over here. I think I can actually reach this one fairly easily. And then this one, a bit from a distance. Nope. He got a hit in, but there he goes. Okay, got experience, so that usually means that the fight is over. Then we have this gate. And a nice chest. And there's the opening for the crystal. I think we can just carry that across, right? Just gonna open that up now that we can. There we go, and that gets us... Another runic attack. A runic summon summons a spectral squirrel, Rata, Rata Tusker, to unearth consumables. Uh, what does that even mean? What kind of consumables? Oh, look at that. Ah, okay, health stones. Fair enough. I'm fine with my wolves. Pristine scales of the realm. Scales from the World Serpent infused with the light of Alfheim, used to upgrade powerful armor found only at the Light Elf Outpost. So, this is the Light Elf Outpost, I suppose. Oh! But, we're not done yet, so there's another crystal over there, there's another pot over there that drops down a bit lower, okay. That was gonna drop down over there, but... 
in that one. Hmm. There's another pot over there. Fair enough, fair enough. Just a bit of hack silver, but every little bit helps. So, now let's get that crystal over here and see what that does. So, place that in the pedestal. And then we can fire away. What did that do? Oh, another realm tear. Let's fight? Yeah, this time it's a red one, so I'm just gonna move back. What the hell? Oh shit, that doesn't look good. One, two, three. And then maybe electric wolves. So that's three of them. Yeah, and they one hit me. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Let's try that one more time. No, 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 no. So yeah, this seems pretty much impossible on this level because I'm um, getting one shotted. I don't have. A lot of attack value against these guys and they can block pretty much everything I can throw at them except for the fancy attacks but those take a while to charge up so I'm guessing I'm just gonna try and find a final letter then it's another bucket over there but that seems a bit high for my aiming skills but there we go aha it's over there between the goals oh a bit higher there we go Three out of three seals destroyed, which means we can now get all the way back down and open up the chest. And there we go, open up the chest, the CRN chest. So is that another apple or horn? It is another apple. There we go, three out of three. Oh, we found every single one of those already. Aiden's Orchard. So there we go, found all apples, silver trophy. Done and done. All right, so let's uh, head out of here. I've seen another beach on the other side and I definitely want to check that out but not before we get the gold from over here and there we go and then this barrel and another there's a lot of these tiers around here there's another ooh, another cave over there as well there's a lot of stuff to do in this game and a lot of side areas because I feel like all of this is optional Yggdrasil's Jew of Defense permanent increases defense by two. Fair enough. Then we have this little beach over here. And it is... Okay. Ruins of the Ancient. Okay. Let's kill this thing. Here. Boy. Oh shit. That's a scroll. Just gonna try and stay out of sight. Ah, treasure map. Okay. I am gonna check that out though. I wish to make a contribution to Fafnir's collection of relics. I arrived to find the door locked and Reavers blocking the way I came. I quickly buried my treasure and hid as fast as I could. If I manage to escape, I'll return to this spot. So it's the entrance of the Fafnir storeroom, which is definitely something I know where it is. Might actually go there this episode then. Um, let's just hit this thing. There we go. Soul Devourer. Just gonna use the cover. Do I have it in my hand? Beam, there we go. Just... One by one. So we always fire three times, so that's fine by me. So then he's gonna cross again. Fireworks. Oh, that kind of hit me there. 
think that's that grab. And then we're gonna kill it immediately. There we fucking go. Punch it. Hit it, hit it, and then just tear out this part. Or not. Or not, fair enough. There we go. There we goes. Okay, that was a bit anticlimactic, but there we go. Soul devoured it down. Adequate. Uh, and that gives us rage. More health stones, and I think the rest is being blocked off. And that's a cider sigil of protection, so again, poison resistance. We got two of those now, which is really good, because we can stack those up to 40. But now, let's open this up. Because if we start collecting those a bit more, we can actually guard against certain elements a lot better, so that will uh, be really good. good. Alright, Niflheim Cypher 2 out of 4. Also very nice loot. So, that seems to be it for this little island, which means... I'm just gonna kill the crow over there and then I think I'm just gonna head towards the treasure room although there's another cave over there as well let's see let's do cave first so another cave the North Tree Gorge okay ooh this looks like it's a bit more fine although it's locked by a keystone so I don't think I'll be able to do anything with that although I might just activate the portal because I have the feeling you need to activate the portal to actually use it later on just uh, what the hell just happened there my arm just glowed green or does that just heal me as well so I can't open this up I think oh I do oh okay so this must be Brock's favor then? What do you see up there? I don't see anything up there. Do I need to head in there? Because there's quite a bit of uh, stuff in these side quests usually. And I'm already at half an hour. But you know what? Let's let's do this. Fuck it. Let's see what we end up. Ooh, that's a lovely gorge. And there's a lot of things to do. Since I have the keystone, I'm supposing this is uh, either Brox or Sindri's next part of the quests. And yeah, well this seems to be open to me. And pretty dark. I don't even know, yeah okay, thanks for lighting that up. Nortry Stronghold. So that is Sindri. So let's see what he has to say, because I'm supposing this is the next part Once of the you Reaver quest the Weststone, then. Please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. Okay. Fair enough. I am full health, so that's not needed. Seems to be two ways to go here, although... This part seems to be... Yeah, that's locked off, so we just need to head further. Although we can talk to Sindri. Hey, Sindri. Have you met Mimir? Uh, have you met you Mimir? A severed head that keeps blinking at me? Please, keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Okay. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal, Sindri. I'm so terribly touched. Yeah, that's still very interesting, because those arrows you gave Atreus, the witch really freaked out when she saw those. And she completely missed that we used a piece to fix his strap. So I'm guessing that's gonna come in, uh, that's gonna come back in the story, isn't it? It's gonna come back to bite us in the ass. But enough foreshadowing. Let's head deeper into the cave to I get that wet I still can kill his own father. That's crazy, right? I know, we only got one side of the story. But come on, his own father? I mean, I get angry at you sometimes, but... Do you? I mean... Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> a little. But I'd never stab you in the back. No. I imagine not. Okay, that sounded a lot more creepy than they intended it to be, I think. Um, there's a lot of gold in the water. This clan really didn't want anyone coming in. How are we supposed to get through? There must be a way to lift the gate. Maybe with the big water wheel. I thought as well. 
Okay, so find a way to open the great family business. So most of the reavers seem to be, yeah, converted into cider. Which means, yeah, there won't be there won't be any cohesive thought. There we go. Oh god, yeah, right, these guys explode. Oh, and he just got thumped off the ledge by Atreus. That was awesome. Nice work, buddy. I think I'm, uh, yeah, getting attacked in the back. Jesus. Um, there we go. Um, boom. There he goes. And uh, he's gonna go as well because he's gonna throw that in my face. And I'm just gonna parry it. There we go. Come on. And don't hit me. Goodbye. And there's a. These guys are pretty low level. Or, I mean, they're level three, but I must have been leveling up a bit more. I don't know what it's based on, the fact that we could defeat any of these guys. And we'll be good. There we go. I'm getting used to uh, timing that a bit better, because that's actually really cool to keep them juggled a bit. Um, more pulse. Definitely more pulse. That was a shock bolt. Oh no, no yeah, that was not. That was a bit excessive to break those bolts, but never mind. Just wanted to throw my axe, but used the uh, block button instead of the aiming button. Okay. Other side of the gorge. These guys really love these decorations, don't they? But I don't like those. Hmm. So I'm wondering how much of the... How do I have to say this? How much of their common sense is still there? Because we saw them changing at the beginning of the game. We saw a few normal weavers. And then they turn into uh, those frost people. And then you have the side who are like magic, okay? Magic versions of those guys. I'm just gonna flip this guy over the edge. Goodbye. Oh, there's another one over there. Wait. Flammo. And there we go. Oh yeah, right. Keep forgetting these guys explode. Luckily, they take a while to explode. Otherwise, I would have been uh, fubber knuckled. Okay. Halt. Come on. Thank you. God damn you. So, poison the area. We know what to do with that. Just freeze the, uh, the vat of poison. And then just take the spoils. Easy peasy. Yeah, I feel like this area is somehow overleveled. They do sp spread those out a bit because I haven't been revisiting all the areas to see if there's uh, realm tiers that I can now actually do because I'm stronger than before. Um, is this break? No. Okay, so, yeah. to me. so we activated the water wheel, which means we should be able to cross the gate now. Probably using the boat. Yeah. Oh. What's this? Okay. What was this guy hiding? And we got... Is that the hack silver we just got? That was... That was a lot of stuff just for a bit of hack silver. But hey. I'm not complaining. I'm happy with everything I get. So, Where back in the boat. Angry? What? With me. When? Oh, I guess sometimes when you don't think I can do something, but I can. It is not always easy to know what. It's okay. I get it. I'm little. Where's that whetstone, I wonder? Okay, he really didn't want to talk about that, did he? Uh, we can't break that open. And I hear... Is there a crow hiding over here somewhere? Oh. That guy doesn't look friendly. Do they have their own troll? Jesus. He's a bit of a sourpuss. Oh, 
Oh, there's a Viking. Oh, he just hit me there. Okay, so the Viking, I need to be careful that he doesn't smack me in the face. But the troll actually does damage the... Oh, gold. He does damage the side, which is good. So he's just gonna block that. There we go. There we go. Getting my parries. Okay. Put my magic attack in, which is good. And then I get the fancy one if I get a second. Oh, and I think the troll just died. Yeah, he died. There we go. This guy died as well. Hmm. I think I can actually just smack him in the wall and then grab him. He's gonna explode, which takes out most of the health of the other ones, probably. And then this guy's also gonna explode. He's gonna turn him around a bit, aiming him towards that guy. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, that was a nice juggle. Just let me know. I think that was a bit of a a burn towards me not using a trigger as much. What's this? That looks purple. So let's fart all time steal. Times five. Okay, that's a nice reward. Lots of scale, some of courage, a lot of hack silver. We got a lot from this fight, holy crap. Um, but was this what we needed to get to? More Haxel, we can get up over there. Doesn't do anything, but that might. Okay. This does not open. That's a pot. So, let's just head up here. Ooh. It's a bit more of an explanation, maybe, about the Reavers. So let's read up on that Boy. while I open up the chest. Ah, I was wondering about this. I hate when Atreus does that. He could just explain what he just read, but he's just leaving that to me. To know the Rezla Farmadir is to know the brutal history of these lands. Before the Great Flood, before the Desolation, men lived peacefully in Midgard. The dead stayed dead, Draugr were a rarity, and the use of cider magic was considered deeply shameful. The Herezla Farmadir is of the old ways. When a man's worth is measured by how well he swings a blade, strength our highest virtue. These are harsh lands, and they are no place for the weak. The strong will prosper in life and in death, join the ranks of the Einherjar in Valhalla. The weak will scrape and suffer a meager existence, joining the ranks of unworthy in the depths of Helheim. Such is the cycle of life till Ragnarok comes. Harsh. We sound about as friendly as a pack of wolvers. Yeah, the wolvers really, really suck. So, we got all the way up here. But what now? I've seen... Yeah, we just need to climb up there, probably. So yeah, I keep... Getting those two, well, mixing those two up. So you have the frost people who are just like the 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 white walkers, kind of like in Game of Thrones, the so zombies from uh, this realm. And then you have the cider, which are well, just reavers that use cider magic to get through, uh, get more powerful, but not necessarily zombies. Although they do seem to lose their minds, kind of. Um, just gonna turn around here. Another electric arrow. Barrier. There we go. Ah, and there we have the chest we passed when we were climbing up. That is nice. So let's fart the punch steel. Sorry, skeleton. Sorry, sorry. Thought you were a pot there for a second. And then this. So this is where we could continue, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Still on the right track. Still on the right track. Doesn't seem like there's anything. Wolves? Oh no. Hey. 
Just in time to get rid of the wolf. Come on. Didn't get the stance, but we did too many attacks already. Ah, oh, there it is. Just takes a bit longer, apparently. Thank you, Mimir. We didn't even get hit once. Probably that's why he got the, we got the voice line over there. Um, we can't take the side route, which is right over here. But I think I'm gonna take a little break because this is uh, starting to get a. Starting to become a longer episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, yeah, if you want to, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we'll continue to uh, ransack the Reaver hideout and uh, see if we can find the whetstone for Sindri. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.